this, this right here, is a Gibson Les Paul Traditional 2012 given to me by my good friend, my brother, Mr. Koei Iron Fist Togo. As you can clearly see, it is all just stock. I believe he changed out this tailpiece, and I believe he switched out this thing, and I believe that none of that actually has an effect on the tone whatsoever. <clears throat> and I believe that a whole bunch of internet nerds will tell me different. As you can see, it is a flame. It is a beautiful flame. I don't know if I can get it to actually flame with just the phone right here. Uh, but it's it's glorious. You can check out right this this part right here. It's got the little nubs, the little plastic nubs, the big greatest difference maker. Now, why is that important? I don't know. Some customs don't have it. Traditionals have it. The standards, some of them have it. And it's just something that I really, really like. I don't know why. It's just little plastic thing that goes over top of the fret. Maybe it makes it a little more comfortable. I don't really know. I just think it's badass. The frets are really tall, which is glorious. What is more glorious than tall frets? Almost nothing. It's got a plastic nut. I'm probably going to change that out for a bone nut. It has the stock pegs. I think it's, this is stock, tunematic, right? Stock pickups. Might switch this one out for a bare knuckle. We'll see if they give me the endorsement or not. Uh, tone pots are all stock. As you can clearly see right here, Tune Pegs are stock, made in USA 2012. That's how you can tell that it's made in 2012. As you can see here, it was new and one tour with me and it is no longer new. That is some serious belt buckle rash. That is something that I have to be a little more cautious about if I want this thing to live. Now I'm not going to get a new belt. I'm probably, I don't wear a belt buckle. There is a buckle on my belt, but it's not one of those like longhorn Texas things that you, I don't know even what the heck I'm talking about anymore, but look at that, right? That's indentations and all that stuff. Gotta be a little careful, a little bit more careful, but I think that looks pretty badass. The neck is pretty thick. It's a fifties neck. As you know, the traditionals all have the fifties neck which I think is just absolutely lovely. doesn't have the Switchcraft jack in it yet. I might put one of those in. And when I say might, I mean like, you know, if Switchcraft gives me the endorsement, kind of like Bare Knuckle, because um, I am the greatest whore in rock and roll. And if any company does sponsor me for whatever, I will say that it is the greatest company of all time. So this is sweet. Action is not low, but it's not too high. Um, and I look, I, I like that. I got 52 to 11 or 11 to 52, whatever the heck you want to call it, which is pretty big. It's pretty beefy. Uh, I believe they're called Burleys. I was using 10 to 52 for most of my life. And then I found out that there's an 11 to 52. I used to have to go to Longham McQuaid, which is the Canadian equivalent of Guitar Center. And I would buy single 11 gauge strings to just throw onto these things. And, and throw away the 10 gauge string because I just like to have that extra little bit of meat when you're just like, you know, just doing one. I don't know, I can't really. You hear that? You feel that? No, you don't because you're not really doing this with me at the same time. But if you were here and you were doing this, you'd be like, yeah, that one little bit more of whatever the heck the gauge is, is, is just like meatier. There's more there. There's more to grab. It's like a girl with a big butt. And that's something that I like. Who? How often do I hit this note? Maybe, maybe three times in in an hour long set. When I go to this high E, but but it makes the difference. I don't know if it sustains longer. Just to me, it sounds better. Look at that go, vibrating like crazy right there. Sweet. I don't know exactly which which um, pickups these are. I think they're, I don't think they're the 490T plus, 490R plus. Um, I think they're the uh, the other ones that are a little more, a little more open. Does that really make a big difference? Probably not. Wouldn't say so. Um, I've been, I saw that, uh, that guy's channel on YouTube and he says, do you want to change your pickup to sound or whatever? And he just turns up the gain. I think that's more true than anything. And I think buying a lot of these upgrades 
don't actually do anything unless you're bare knuckle pickup and you're going to give me money or free gear, in which case it's the greatest difference maker of all time. So yeah, pretty badass. Loving this. Absolutely loving this. Just a glorious guitar. And uh, you can see me play this thing on the next four tours in Japan, which is happening over the next 300 days. And we are highly concentrated in Japan right now because we're seeing a lot of exponential growth and most of all having a fabulous time. So please enjoy. Play Gibson guitars. They are different than Epiphone guitars. Not all Les Pauls are created equal. Gibson Les Pauls are the best and poor internet nerds will tell me otherwise. That's just how it goes. That's just how it is. Rock on. <laughs> 